luxury for us is about the ambience of the space, about how a space is carved out, materials used uh, in the space, green areas it opens out into. That's what is luxury for us. Marble is something which is always uh, connected with a luxury because I mean you, you see it predominantly used from ages together in temples and so on and so forth. So for us versatility and the way it can be used in different finishes gives a lot of uh, scope to make the space uh, feel more luxurious. So the clients have been living on this property for close to a century now and it's very close and dear to them. The site is located off Brigade Road in Bangalore on Pulyar Kovil Street. The site is the third site from the main road and it is covered densely on all the sites by neighboring properties. The site is 3000 square feet in plot size, it's around 50 feet towards the road and 60 feet in depth. We enter it through the northern side, both the vehicle entry and the pedestrian entry. We have the main staircase core, which has the lift and the staircase in the northwest quadrant of the property and all the services and an office for the client tucked in in the rear on the southern and the western side. We have also used the door of the old ancestral property as an entry to the office. The zoning of the plan in the first and the second floor, which is a three bedroom apartment, it is done in such a way that once we enter from the northeast quadrant, we enter a large space which houses the dining and the living and then we get in maximum sunlight and ventilation from the facade through these spaces. We also have puja courtyard which is a sculptural element kept into this space and all the services like the kitchen and the three bedrooms are tucked in the southern and the western quadrants. The northeast living areas each open out into these huge terrace platforms which we created. It also gives them privacy from the neighbors and at the same time gives breathing space from these common areas. In the third and the fourth floor duple, we have a five bedroom residence which follows a similar zoning strategy as the first and the second floor. We have the kitchen areas and the bedroom areas tucked in in the southern and the western quadrant. We enter through the northwest from the staircase and the lift. We are standing in uh, probably the heart of the house and we have a very large space over here with a very sculptural puja court and the internal staircase of the house. We have continued the same white marble as the rest of the space onto the courtyard so that the transition one is pretty smooth. And then secondly, the entire puja room and the seater and the planter box around it almost feel they're carved out of one piece of marble. And also this internal courtyard brings in a lot of green into this central courtyard. We have made sure that the platform transitions into seaters and planter box and then transitions to become the puja room and then it again transitions to become the staircase itself. So it becomes one monolithic carved out piece of object. So the seater and the walls of the Puja room have been done in this layered format to give it a detail and the similar language continues on the puja door which is a tessellated pattern uh, made out of brass and once you open the puja room we have a fluted curved uh, backdrop for the puja room and then the deity is kept in front. We have used a slab of marble which is carved out to get this uh, fluted effect and it is highlighted by this lighting effect which we have given in the ceiling. This fluted effect again gives it a very soft feel, almost like a curtain and it kind of 
dematerializes the marble a little bit. The marble platform also has a groove right in the center to break the scale of the platform. And it's also transitioned to these steps wherein we have a combination of a solid steps and also the floating platforms which we have created. And this, the overall composition of the seater, the puja room and the staircase uh, terminates at the landing to make sure that the scale of this overall composition remains low. The staircase from the landing to the first floor is made out of wood. It's got a cantilevered uh, design to it. The glass railing used for the uh, marble staircase and we have cut it in the same profile as the steps uh, to make sure that the teakwood handrail what we have used on top has a floating effect. The skylight above the courtyard gives the overall the puja space, the central courtyard and the staircase a very ephemeral feel due to the light coming from top. The living spaces and the dining spaces in the duple apartment have double height which allows us to bring in a lot of natural light and ventilation from the northern side through the deck. We have these huge sliding folding doors which collapse against the wall and then it gives a very seamless transition from the inside or to the outside deck spaces. It also has a lower system on the last floor which gets in filtered light. This double light also gives us a connection on the last floor which looks down into this living and dining spaces giving a internal connection inside the house. So we are in the upper level in the master bedroom. Uh, we have interesting pattern done for the headboard in the master bedroom wherein there's a combination of leather, marble, brass in a very interesting inlay pattern. The headboard is flanked on one side by a very interesting pendant light. Uh, we have a window on this side and what's interesting about the side table is uh, we have all the electronic, the switches, the gadgets, everything incorporated neatly within the side table. So uh, the other interesting feature about the bedroom is the floor to ceiling doors of the storage unit. The way we have done it is we have continued the storage from that end, it turns the corner and it goes all the way to the end of the room in one seamless color and design. This also hides the entry into the toilet and at the same time gives a very neat clean finish to the overall storage unit. The color theme used for the entire room is this mau kind of a color palette we have used for the leather, the wardrobe paint, the fabric soft furnishing in the room and also the texture paint what we've used for the wall. They're all in the same family using different shades and textures and it also uh, highlights the artwork. The different levels in the ceiling are uh, again highlighted uh, by using two different colors. Uh, the texture paint of the walls continue into the ceiling and camouflages the air conditioning system as well. We are at the garden space of the house, which is the terrace. This space is jointly used by all the three families. Here, what we have tried to do here is try to continue the gray color palette predominantly in the facade into this space over here. So we have gray finished tiles and then we have this interesting gray stone which has a fluted design carved into it and this camouflages the three entries into the three different rooms dedicated to the three different families. It's their multi-purpose spaces, they can be used as store rooms, they can be used as TV rooms depending on what their preference is. So the wall in the terrace which bifurcates the service areas which is the laundry and the other miscellaneous spaces from the actual terraces the wall is being designed in an interesting way wherein it is broken into multiple parts. The planters have been incorporated behind the wooden seating over here and the 
gray stone acts as a nice backdrop for these planters. We have also interspersed them with the sculptures and outdoor lighting elements over here. So the space is divided into the rooms and the open area is accentuated by the pergola space right in the center, which we have used pine wood to give it a warm feel from the lower level. And we have used glass on top, which cuts down on the, on the rain. This corner of the terrace has been uh, designed as a seating space for the family with a covering on top and the plants in the edge giving them privacy from the neighbors. So the facade, we broke it up as a composition of the staircases and the balcony since it was three dwellings on top of each other and in a tight site we had to make sure that the composition of the overall built did not look very tall so we had to break up the balconies and the staircase block into separate forms so that we could achieve this effect. We predominantly used three materials for the facade. We have a cotton steel which has a very rustic feel, goes with the overall color theme and the ambience of the spaces around. We have a salmon color light uh, pastel shade uh, which encloses the balconies and we have a textured grey which we have used to complement both the cotton steel and the pastel colour and it holds up the entire composition with this colour palette. Site and the surroundings was pretty much devoid of any greenery. Uh, we had to get in a lot of greenery elements within the building and the facade is also a very important part of this composition wherein the three balconies are treated differently and the greens are part of this overall composition. There is also the strip which separates the service core and the main house which is treated with these green elements which gives us a nice break and a nice smooth transition from the grey to the pastel colour shade. So the future of luxury products I think is going to be more artisan based wherein it is not a set product of the computer but it is things which are carved out more hands-on designs which comes out of people. So we have predominantly used uh, white marble throughout the house to give it a very seamless transition between different spaces but also gives it a lightness to the space because we had a challenge of bringing in natural light and uh, ventilation into the space. To complement this, for the walls and the ceilings, we have gone with a textured pastel colored shades in most of the spaces, which complements this white marble uh, very well. For the client to move into this house after demolishing a very cherished ancestral property, we had to make sure that we give him something which he can be equally proud of.